Hey everybody, Wookie here. In this video, we're going to go through the latest Game Pass update for February. Hopefully you enjoy this video and find the information useful. If you do, consider liking and subscribing to see more. So the first game that's coming to the service on February the 4th is Ghost of a Tale for PC. Ghost of a Tale is an action RPG in which you play as Tilo, a mouse and minstrel thrown into a perilous adventure. Set in a medieval world populated only by animals, the game puts an emphasis on immersion and exploration. It features stealth elements, disguises, conversations with allies and enemies, and quests. The next game, also coming February 4th for Android console and PC, is Project Winter. The perfect game to backstab your friends. Project Winter is an 8 person multiplayer game focusing on a social deception and survival. Communication and teamwork are essential to get the survivor's goal of escape, gather resources, repair structures and brave the wilderness together. The next game, also coming February 4th for Android console and PC, is The Falconeer. Become the Falconeer and soar through the skies aboard a devastatingly powerful warbird. In this open world air combat game, uncover secrets lost to the sea as you join or oppose different factions and clans scattered throughout the mysterious world of the Great Ursi. The next game, coming February 11th for console and PC, is Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. We're excited to continue bringing Final Fantasy games to Game Pass in 21 and beyond. This remaster is based on the smash hit 12th installment of the Final Fantasy series. With graphical and audio upgrades, the core game design has been tweaked to produce an evolution of the original Final Fantasy XII, fitting for the current generation. Return to the world of Ivalis and enjoy a classic adventure reborn. Also coming on February 11th for Android and console is Jurassic World Evolution. Place yourself at the heart of Jurassic Park franchise and build your own world. Bioengineer dinosaurs that think, feel and react intelligently to the world around them and face threats posed by espionage, breakouts and devastating tropical storms in an uncertain world where life always finds a way. The next game coming February 11th for Android and console is Stealth Inc 2 A Game of Clones. Stealth Inc 2 you play a role as a clone escaping a sinister high-tech testing facility, testing both your brain and your reflexes. Over 60 varied levels linked together in a sprawling overworld. Death is never more than a few moments away, but one of your few advantages of being a clone is that death isn't permanent at all. And the final game, also coming February 11th for Android, is Wolfenstein Youngblood. Set 19 years after the events of Wolfenstein 2, B.J. Blaskovitz's twin daughters Jess and Soph Blaskovitz, after years of training from the battle-hardened father, are forced into action. Team up with a friend and then level up, explore and complete missions to unlock abilities that complement your playstyle. So that's all the games that are coming to Game Pass. Uh, there's a couple of updates in terms of other things as well. So for example, a load more games have been given touch controls for the Android. Those games are Donut County, Enter the Gungeon, Fractured Minds, Monster Sanctuary, River City Girls, The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics, The Walking Dead A New Frontier, The Walking Dead Michonne, The Walking Dead Season 2, and The Walking Dead The First Season. To Who, Luna Knights, What Remains of Edith Finch, and Yes, Your Grace. So if you're playing those games, you no longer have to hook up your controller. You can just use the touch controls straight on your tablet or phone, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it makes it even more portable because, like, although Game XCloud is portable, you wouldn't necessarily always have your controller in your pocket. So being able to play certain games with touch controls is pretty cool. Uh, also, and to, as well as that, uh, there are a lot of some games leaving the service. So on February the 11th, The Blob is leaving on the console, Ninja Gaiden 2 is leaving on the console, and World of Horror is leaving the PC. And then the day after, on February the 16th, Shadows of the Damned is leaving EA Play on console, uh, which is interesting because I didn't realise games actually left EA Play. Uh, so I mean that's a weird one, but. 
at least it's not one of the more popular games uh, and that's it so that's all the updates for the latest game pass uh, so let me know in the comments below what do you think of these games uh, so we've got some good ones here uh, the falcon here is a relatively new game uh, quite looking forward to that i watched a bit of gameplay about it and it seems interesting Jurassic world evolution i've played myself already the expansions are really good as well uh, if you just want to sit back and do a bit of part management it's really good and ghost of a tail looks quite interesting as well playing as the little mouse uh, but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did consider liking and subscribing to see more wookie out